junk. By the way, let the tuning take over. What the hell did you just do? Is this even real? Am I real? I have a feeling I'm not in California anymore. All right, let's give it the beads. Coming up on that finish line, try to hold it tight. I feel like I'm being played here. You're more than a basic luxury sedan. Are you trying to sell me this car? Sure, I can trust you with that car? Oh, shut up. Like, you could do any better, lest we forget made in Japan. Car culture, underground, yada yada. It wouldn't be the first time I've been considered a weirdo. I really don't know if this is for me, but I'll at least try to keep an open mind. That mini got swag, and there's even more in the nation menu. This is Liberty Walk Part 2. We begin today's episode in a Mercedes AMG C63. Bit of a weird naming structure, all I care about is that it's fast. Okay, you're driving a C63 AMG, and Mercedes are a hassle to modify. Score one for the car purists, am I right? They want to keep their elegance, but add a little urban style. It's like making your grandpa wear a hat backwards. Delicate. Hey, you know what they say, growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional, or something. They hit the mark with that car, though. I wouldn't change a thing. Hmm. Maybe the wheels. I like them more imposing. Okay, I know I'm gonna get ragged in the comments, but what is with most of y'all and aftermarket rims? I get it if you're trying to save weight or something, but rims are literally just the feet of the car. They get dirty, grungy, and oh my god, it all makes sense now. Yeah, on second thought, aftermarket rims all around. Alright, we've got a moment before Toji gets back, so let's do a bit of drifting. I mean, it's certainly not bad. A bit of performance tuning, and it'd be comparable to any drift car. Who knows, maybe I should do a custom one myself. I went to check out the Motorfest custom show, and I gotta say, you festival goers have some imagination. You've learned a lot, so no holding back. Next custom show, you need to show it off. I've actually yet to do a custom show, whoops. Now show me some proper moves. So it is written, so it shall be. I haven't really done this as much as I've wanted to, but I really do need to point out just how breathtakingly beautiful the coastline of Oahu really is. While it tends to be a bit of a blur at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour, sometimes you need simply to change your focus, and the Pacific Ocean is, well, pretty much perfect for that. Hell, there's even some interesting landmarks along the way. Alright, making our way back into Mokulea. Finish line is up ahead. This was Liberty Nation. Next and last step, Liberty Performance. 
Oh look, it's an NSX! I did briefly demo one of these as part of an earlier showcase, but now we can see what it's really capable of. Did you spot it? An F-40 among your opponents. At one time, it was blasphemy to customize a holy Ferrari. Nobody dared to think about it. Nobody except Kato. He took the car, kitted it out, customized it with his own style, and changed the game. Now everyone wants to modify the more exotic rides. I mean, I wouldn't say everyone, but what do I know, really? Keywords now are supercars and performance. The look is more subdued, keeps things effective, and retains the original spirit of the car. Retaining the spirit of the car? Could that be... Car puritanism? Oh, relax, I'm only messing with the man. But you have to admit, even stock hypercars have some amazing features. Retractable spoilers, aerodynamic cutouts built right into the bodywork, and hey, wasn't it Lamborghini themselves who pioneered the scissor door trend? All I'm saying is that when the design teams have carte blanche to go hog wild, the result is something that honestly is difficult to improve on. And that's okay. NSX has a hybrid powertrain. Add all the heavy custom you want. Its speed will still be lethal. Liberty Walk sells body kits for this car. They even make one for the 92 Honda NSX. Remember Shingo? He always wanted to get one of these. Is Shingo even real at this point? Seriously. Do your job now. Push that engine. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. I mean, I guess it's my job, but still... And speaking of Lamborghini, no, your eyes do not deceive you. Liberty Walk has provided us with an Aventador. I absolutely adore this car. Now, if only I could 3D print one of my own. So like we said, Liberty Walk is going for a different approach with their performance line. Top end vehicle, different treatment. Light tuning, nothing too distorting front and side diffusers that widen the body while blending with the lines. All sublimated by some first of colors. I am gonna assume only half of that was in English and the other half was fanboy speak. You do you, Toji. You do you. I'm usually into buff street mods, but man, this is a beautiful job. I respect that. Alright, let's see if this thing can handle a bit of corner cutting. Taking the inside, and wow, this is honestly pretty exhilarating. So what's faster than a Lamborghini? 
why it's another Lamborghini. This one is actually one I've never driven before. What's Toji got up his sleeve? Guess we'll just have to ride this one out. So you're driving a Lamborghini Huracan Performante with a special Liberty Walk performance flavor. You see where I'm going, right? Yeah, your ride's a killer machine. You've got no excuse. A killer machine for a killer queen? Okay, I admit that one's bad. Oh my frick. All right, maybe I deserve that one. Somehow the car is still in one piece. That's better than my Forza runs by far. With all the Performante mechanical enhancements made by Lambo, they've added some final homemade tweaks. The Huracan is the most powerful car in its class, just like all the cars you're racing right now. You're in the biggest league possible. Frick, took that one way too tight. Head in the game, Maddie. One of the most impressive hypercars ever made, with an extra layer of Liberty Performance tweaking. You think you'll be able to control that thing? Just want to remind everyone watching along at home that during my time on this island, I've driven Formula One cars, flown World War II fighter planes, and oh yeah, I dropped a limousine into the state capitol from two miles up. I've got this. that car to its max speed or what? There, the coast is clear. Show me. See, 200 miles an hour is just nothing. for the final stretch. Oh, so this thing caps at 229. Now that is actually impressive. End of the Liberty Performance part. Now you see, the customization world knows no bounds. And as promised, we were given the BMW Liberty Walk M4 competition, but this playlist is not yet over. There is one more race which must be conquered, and you'll be seeing it here next week on the final episode of the Crew Motorfest. Look forward to it.